Welcome to the MOOC NPTEL course on Interactomics, Protein Arrays and Label Free Biosensors. I am Sanjeeva Srivastava, an Associate Professor in Department of Biosciences and Bioengineering at IIT Bombay. Interactomics is a study of interactions and their consequences between various proteins and other cellular components. The network of all such interactions, the interactome aims to provide better understanding of genome and proteome functions. Proteins are the key effector molecule in any living system and they are largely responsible for the functioning of a cell. The intricate cell signaling and molecular triggers are dependent on interactions involving proteins at the cellular level. The multi-protein complexes formed through such interactions are responsible for large number of biological phenomena like signal transduction, transcription, splicing, morphology, growth, metabolism, cell cycle regulation, translation, DNA replication, etc. The conventional methods of studying protein interactions are yeast to hybrid and immunoprecipitation. Here is an example of yeast to hybrid method where a protein interaction between two proteins are detected through the expression based signal in yeast to hybrid system. This course of interactomics describes various conventional techniques as well as modern techniques such as protein microarrays which will help to establish protein protein interactions. These techniques are high throughput tool for functional studies. This course is divided in two modules focusing on two powerful platforms protein microarrays and label free biosensors using surface plasma resonance and other biosensor detection systems. Protein microarrays are high throughput platform for performing multifunctional assays. Arrays are comprised of immobilized proteins, peptides, nucleic acids or cell lysates on the chip surface that can be probed with a query molecule which could be a small molecule, ligands, recombinant proteins, peptides from biological specimens or cell lysates. Protein arrays have immense applications in the area of biomarker discovery, protein-protein interaction studies, functional characterization of proteins due to which these arrays have been extremely popular in interactomic study. In self-free expression arrays, the DNA encoding a functional protein is expressed through in vitro transcription translation assays like crude cell lysate, weed germ extract, rabbit reticulocyte lysate, etc. Such innovations in technology have led to the rise of cell-free expression based protein microarray techniques shown in the slide which will be discussed in detail in this course. Protein microarrays can be used for a wide variety of applications. A popular application of microarrays is autoantibody screening. An experiment for the discovery of blood based biomarkers involving screening of patient serum on chips, scanning slides, data processing and statistical analysis is shown in this slide. The next module focuses on some of the most widely used label free biosensors for study protein protein and protein small molecule interactions. Label based techniques commonly involve tagging a protein sample 
using a fluorescent, chemiluminescent, radio label, etc. While the label free techniques utilize the physical property of a molecule such as change in mass or dielectric property for detection. Examples of label free techniques are surface plasma resonance, biolayer interferometry, carbon nanotubes, etc. The label free technologies due to its unique advantages over label technique have been the research focus of biologists in this current decade. An overview of the innovations in the label free arena is summarized here. Among various label free techniques, the most sought after platform for performing protein interaction is surface plasma resonance. SPR measures change in refractive index of medium directly in contact with the sensor surface. This module would cover various experimental demonstrations of SPR involving immobilization, binding, kinetics and data analysis involved in experimental workflows of SPR experiment to determine protein interactions in great detail. We would also cover newly emerging biolayer interferometry and other sensor platforms. This course thus details the overlapping domains of proteomics and interactomics which is highly relevant for clinical and pharmaceutical areas. A student would benefit hugely from this unique course as well as researchers from academia and industry working in this field. I hope this course will be a very stimulating experience for you. Thank you.